your condition in the pandemic. You expressed that you have lots of negative energy in the form of anxiety. Shall we name them once again? Yeah. yeah. Anxiety, you said. Then next? Stress. 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 Stress, you said. Very correct. And then? Worry, you said. And then? Doubt, you said. It looks like you have by hearted them. No, it's not by hearted. They are your uh, what's that? Topmost feeling. Topmost condition it is. That's why very soon all these words came out. And then we were talking to you also when you are in this condition, they are all. Negative energy. When the negativity is high, the torch cannot be burning. It cannot be glowing properly. The cell, let us put the cell inside. Okay, this is cell, this is the negative part and this is the positive part. Okay, so the cell will not be charged positively. Which uh, will help you to glow the Lord. Splash the light properly onto your answer sheets. Now what are we doing? We are preparing ourselves for the first time. You are going to attend the board exams in your life. We are getting ready by learning. Before we get ready and memorize things, analyze things. And find out what answer is correct, where it has to be fit, how your learning has to become an experience for you. Learning has to become an experience for you. If all those things need to be materialized, become real, then this all this negative energy needs to be become positive. This is what we learned in the past classes. Now before we take care of this entire thing, this is the uh, ground condition. It's a ground condition. For example, a farmer, you see the wheat field there. A farmer before uh, sowing the seeds, what he does? He prepares the field for it. The seed bed it is called as. He prepares the seed bed. And he removes everything that is not helpful for the uh, wheat to grow. It can be stones, it can be thorns, it can be thistles, it can be weeds, it can be some type of uh, cement materials. Yeah, anything that is not fitting for this, the environment, the seed needs, he removes all of them. That's exactly what you are supposed to do. The, your examination is your seed bed. Okay. If you want to write the correct answer and get better uh, marks for the result. At the end of the result. Better marks first. Marks and then your seed bed. Effective level. Why is it effective level? Because effective level is connected to your heart. Do you all have heart? Yes. Please keep your hand there. Yeah? You need to connect it to your heart. Here, you need to grow your highest level of confidence. Only then things will work out. Am I clear to you? Yes. yes. You need to not just make We all are busy making our mind strong. What are we doing? Learning, 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 memorizing, repeating and writing again and again. Here we are working. But many times we forget to work with our heart. The moment our heart is strong, our affective level, where, where we feel everything. If that is strong, then our mindset also will become strong and then our uh, what we have learned, the production also will be wonderful. 
desired result will bring. We are not a copycat. Very sorry to tell you all the entrance exams that we attend. They give us a benchmark. 90% above cutout. They call it as cutout. Uh, this much percent above, you can go to this college. This much percentage, you can go to this college. This much percentage, you will be selected from the need and JEB, all those examinations that you write, or the competitive examinations you write. Now, truly, students, many times we think they are the measure of our capacity. They are the measure of our capacity. That's why very, very many tuition centers have started breeding. Started breeding and going on. Very high level. Because our parents and we ourselves also believe if we get selected here or here or here or there, then we are successful. Then we are successful. No. Yeah. In uh, gaining financial level, you might be successful. Gaining financial stability, it can be, it can make you successful. Not to, to make your effective level strong and make you happy. After all, what would you like to do? You would like to live happy. Yes or no? You would like to achieve something in life. At the same time, you would like to be happy. You understood? And our destiny does not depend on our, on others' opinions. Our destiny does not depend on others' opinion. Please remember. Where is my destiny? Where is my destiny? In myself. In myself. Very true. My destiny is in? Myself. myself. This myself is supposed to do what? Work every day hard. Work to 100%. Your efforts should be 100%. That's what you need to do. Not that during the day. Early morning hours, your uh, brain and your heart and your lungs are fresh. In. Please sit down to study at that time. Not getting up, waking up at 10 o'clock at 9 o'clock. That's not 100%. You understand? You prepare in the morning, you wake up early at least by 6 a.m. From 6.30 to fresh up yourself. From 6.30 to 8 o'clock, precious time to study. That will register yourself well. Your effort needs to be 100%. When you go back from here, from here what do you do? What's your time to do? That's your effort. That's the meaning of in me. My destiny is inside me. What comes out after the exam? Many times it doesn't come out uh, to your 100% capacity. Many times we think that's the end of it, everything. Everything is over. This is what we think. Not at all true. If not in this case, I was not able to be able to come up here. Next after six months, I will come up. I will write again competitive exam and desired result I will bring. We should be like spiders. Keep climbing. How many times the spider comes down? That many times the spider goes up. And stop becoming the crabs. What do crabs do? Put them, put the crabs. You know what are crabs? Yeah, what do you say in Hindi? 
You put ten thakra inside one bucket, go anywhere, nothing will happen. Come back, all ten thakras are inside. What do they do? They do not let anyone go up. One is trying to climb, other will bring it down. Other one also will climb on the top and they both will be coming down. No. Don't become crabs. Become spiders. Spiders are the best examples. Go to the nature, watch them. How many times they fall, that many times they rise up and then they succeed in making their way. Most of the time we go and disturb them and remove them down, the child. That is the way they eat their food. Understand? The nature cares for us. Do I care for my nature? Where do you do? What do you do? Yes. We need to care for our nature. Now coming back to making our affective level strong. We need to learn something called our conscious self. We have something called a conscious self. Which is explained in a uh, pyramid. Not a sharp pyramid. It almost looks like a mountain, right? Okay. Tell me, which part is bigger here? It also has the possibilities to go down still. Now these are the three, uh, what is that, boxes or the compartments I have made. And this is called as conscious self. Okay, and this is sub Conscious self. I will explain each of them what happens. These are this is called as unconscious self. Now conscious self is something that we all know about our own self. Or someone knows about our own self. For example, someone comes and tells you, Sister, I have seen you here since past three years or four years. I have seen you and uh, I know you this, that, all those things. Someone comes and tells you, the conscious self. Also, you know that Something that affects you very fast. Something that affects you very fast. Then you are aware of those things very often. You always tell, I am a happy person. You know yourself. Some may say, I am a silent person. I don't talk much. Some may say, I am very fast in all that I, that I do. I may think or write or run or eat or everything is a good speed. Some may feel I am an angry man. Some may feel I am an irritable person. I get irritated very fast. Right? Now what are you? What are you? Can you name about your own self something positive? What are you? Shall we do an activity? Yes. Okay. How many years are you studying together? How many years I'm asking? You are the same classmates. 